Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today, I'll be going over this week's Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. For the full problem and solution transcript, you can see the link in the description of this video on our YouTube channel. So, this week's Advanced Problem of the Week asks you to prove the following statement, that the cosine or the sum of the cosines of 2m pi over 2n minus 1 is all equal to this expression on the right-hand side here. Cosine quantity m plus 1 pi over 2n minus 1 times sine of n pi over 2n minus 1 all over sine of pi over 2n minus 1. So by the structure of this problem, we can hazard our guess that induction, mathematical induction, is probably the best way to go about proving this, proving this statement here. So first of all, the first step to mathematical induction is going to be the base case. So we need to prove that this statement is true here for some m equals k. Oh, I should mention that this is for m greater than or equal to 1. OK, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the case where m is equal to 1. OK, so when we test m is equal to 1, so I'm going to use this expression here. We have cosine 2m pi over 2n minus 1. So we're going to get here cosine 2, where m is equal to 1. We just have 2 pi in the numerator, all over 2n minus 1 in the denominator. OK, so that's the left-hand side of our expression. So the right-hand side, I'm going to plug in also m equals 1 to see if this equality holds. OK, so this is left-hand side. OK, great. So now the right-hand side, we have cosine of OK, so if m equals 1, m plus 1 is going to be 2. So we have 2 pi. So cosine 2 pi over 2n minus 1, because the n is not influenced by m. And then we have sine n pi over 2n minus 1. Or this should be m pi, excuse me. m pi. OK, so now we have m is equal to 1. So we have this is equal to sine of m equals 1, so sine pi over 2n minus 1 all over, same thing a denominator, sine of pi over 2n minus 1. And since we have the same term in the numerator as we have in the denominator, these are just going to cancel out, go to 1. And this entire thing is going to be equal to cosine 2 pi over 2n minus 1, which is exactly what we have on the left-hand side. So this is the right-hand side. And we have equality. So we have just, we have just shown, using the base case, that uh, this statement here, which we're going to call our induction hypothesis, is true for some n equals k. And we want to prove that this is true for n equals k plus 1. OK, so this statement here is going to be our induction, hypo induction hypothesis. OK, so now what we're going to do is we're going to Take the left-hand side, and we're going to plug in for m uh, k plus 1. So assuming, I should note that assuming that this is true for m equals k is the same as assuming that all this is true, but instead of an m here, we have k. So just replace, you can think of this as replacing all of the m's with k's. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the actual variable k plus 1, and I'm going to plug in k plus 1 for m and see if we get equality between the left-hand side and the right-hand side. OK, so on the left-hand side, we're going to have cosine, this is just copying the first terms, 2 and minus 1 plus dot, dot, dot. And you can just assume that cosine 4 pi over 2 and minus 1 is also there. I'm just not going to write it because we don't have a lot of space here on the board. Uh, OK, so then we're going to have cosine 2 m pi over 2 n minus 1. 2m pi plus, and then we're going to have m plus 1. So this is the mth term. This is the m plus 1th term. OK, so then we have cosine 2 times m plus 1 pi over 2n minus 1. OK, okay so this expression over here, cosine 2 pi over 2n minus 1 plus added up all the way to cosine of 2m pi. Uh, over 2n minus 1, 
we know by our induction hypothesis, or we have assumed by our induction hypothesis, that this is going to be equal to this expression here on the right-hand side. So I'm going to replace all of this here, this up through here, excluding the very last, the m plus one term. I'm going to rewrite all of this as the right-hand side, but in terms of k. So instead of m plus one, we have k. All right, so we know that that's going to be equal to cosine, and then numerator here we have k plus one pi over two n minus one times sine of k pi over 2n minus 1. Uh, and then in the denominator, we have sine pi over 2n minus 1. And then, we can't forget here, we still have this little straggler term on the end here, the n, the n plus 1th term added on to all of this. So we have here cosine of 2 times n plus 1 times pi over 2n minus 1. Okay, so now we're going to try to combine both of these expressions, both, both of these fractions here into one fraction by getting a common denominator, which in this case is just going to be sine of pi over 2n minus 1. So I'm going to multiply and divide cosine of this quantity here by sine of pi over 2n minus 1 to get a common denominator. Okay. Very limited space here. But okay. Okay, so this is all going to be equal to coming up here. This is all going to be equal to cosine. This is just staying the same. In fact, it might be easier if I just write it down here. Yeah, I don't need to rewrite everything. Okay, just save some space here. Okay, great. So multiplying and dividing, as I said before, by sine of pi over 2n minus 1 is going to give us this. I'll just write sine of pi over 2n minus 1. And then in the denominator we have sine, same thing, pi over 2n minus 1. Okay, so great. So now I'm going to rewrite this all up here, combining, because now we have a common denominator. So I'm just going to add together the numerators, because now, as I said, we have a common denominator. Okay, so we know now that this is going to be equal to cosine, ah, instead of n plus 1 here, I should be using k, excuse me. A little slip of notation there, it's, yeah, okay, k plus 1. It's kind of, gets kind of fuzzy sometimes when you have all the k's and m's going on, but okay, k plus 1, excuse me. Okay, so cosine k plus 1 times pi over 2 and minus 1 times sine k pi over 2n minus 1 plus, and then in the numerator here we have cosine 2 k plus 1 pi over 2n minus 1. All over, so we have here cosine of 2 times k plus 1 pi over 2n minus 1, and then Try to erase this here so I can cram in the sine term. And then we have sine times sine of pi over 2 and minus 1. And then in the denominator here, I will rewrite the sine term. Let me have more room. Okay, great. And this is all over. Oof. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> This is all over sine of pi over 2n minus 1. <clears throat> oh, there's chalk everywhere. Okay, so now I'm going to do kind of another factor by grouping type situation just uh, here. So we have the cosine of k plus 1 times pi over 2n minus 1 times sine of this plus this over here, and we know that this reduces to here we have we're going to reduce this into just a product of two terms, cosine of k plus 1 pi over 2n minus 1 times sine of n pi, whoops, whoops, no, that's, okay, plus sine, excuse me, 
k plus 1 pi over 2n minus 1 all over sine pi over 2n minus 1, which, as you can see, is equal to what we would get if we k plus 2, excuse me, sine k plus 2, this is essential. So this is exactly what we would get on the right-hand side if we plugged in m is equal to k plus 2. Because as you can see here, we have cosine in the numerator m plus 1. So m plus 1, when m is equal to k plus 1, is going to be equal to k plus 2. And then when m is equal to k plus 1, over here, you see that m times pi is going to turn into k, times one, k plus 1 times pi. And then the denominator just stays the same because there's no dependence on m in the denominator. So now we know that, as we were trying to check before, this statement holds true for m is equal to k plus 1. Indeed. So now we have just proven that this statement here, our reduction hypothesis, holds for all m greater than, equal, greater than or equal to 1 using mathematical induction. So for more Problem of the Week videos, you can click on our playlist here. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can click here. And to visit us at centerofmath.org, you can click this button down here. Thank you for watching.